Activating night vision goggles.
Scan coming your way. Now they can't hide. We're outnumbered. Keep your guard up. Nomad, drone's out of juice. The extra firepower would have helped. Photos on.
night vision. Shot ghost lead. Which in the night vision. Now what the hell does Walker need a submarine for? Putting on night vision. <laughs> 
Patrol's active. Always good to have some firepower. Right. We could have used it. Hostile down. We're still here. That's it. All good. Fox is getting away with the whole damn coop. Shit.
put you in the night vision. Activating night vision.
them switch to night vision. Ready for this fight? Oh, I don't know where we'd be without you, man. Ruhi was your close friend and she lied to you. How can you possibly come to terms with a betrayal like that? People sometimes do things that aren't in line with their values. Haruhi was a woman of peace, but she still killed people. Scal had a dream for utopia and built hell. Honestly, I can't say I know what to believe in anymore. Sometimes it's difficult to defend our actions. Things aren't always black and white. All you can really do is appease your conscience. Even when that conscience is misguided? Even then, sometimes it's the only thing you've got. I hear what you're saying. I need to keep going. I just have to be more pragmatic from now on. Why the fixation on the R&D Center? Project Omega. Omega was a secret project initiated after the terrorist attack. The outcast attack. Skell only selected his top performing employees for it. He demanded utmost loyalty. Blind loyalty, because Omega went against everything Aroa stood for. He needed to know Project Omega would be in the right hands. And stay in the right hands. The R&D Center is the heart of the whole lethal drones operation. The fount of all ideas, all designs. You seem to know a lot about it. I used to work there. Ah... Uh... It all makes sense now. Reserve your judgments. Look, they have an army of scientists whose sole purpose is to engineer a mechanical superkiller. That's a lot of manpower. Brain power. Just think of what all that gray matter could have accomplished under the right encouragement. They corrupted noble intentions. Huh. What's that saying again? The road to hell is paved or something? I suffer every day for my mistakes. I will never forgive myself. Well, maybe that's a start then. Nowhere to go from here but up. Still don't get how Skell could be interested in both Maddox and you. You're like night and day. I would have said the same. Maddox was my opposite in every way, but here we are. Both working on controlling killer drones. Well, that's hardly a resemblance. Still goes to show how stars can realign, given the right circumstances. Skell always was the kind to trust his instincts. Doesn't matter if you're doing the same things. The motivation behind them make all the difference. I left my noble intentions behind a long time ago. So how do you really feel about Project Deus? Project Deus is a sect. Almost a cult. It's ridiculous. Oh? There are no gods in machines. Computers are tools, nothing more. They obey and carry out what we will of them. Don't hold back now. It's infuriating. Sadly, there is a certain power in what Maddox is trying to do. 
She has influence, and it has gotten her far. What happens next? I don't know. She's unstoppable when she puts her mind to something. All we can hope for is... divine intervention before things get dangerous. The virus scale is developing. You think it'll work? It's definitely coming out of left field, that's for sure. That you would want to destroy his work? He was so attached to those drones. I I've never known him to be this pragmatic. But will it work? The virus is a wild card, but we have no other options. It has to. Okay. So, what is World 2.0? I mean, what is it to you? Imagine if you had the power to solve all of the world's problems through technology, innovation, and sustainable development. World 2.0 is an opportunity for us to reestablish the link between mankind and the environment. So, a utopia? A utopia is unrealistic. Do I dream of a perfect world? Yes, but I'll settle for a better one. The joy of people coming together to achieve something bigger than themselves. That's the goal. A place where everyone can be the best version of themselves. You make it sound lovely. Hey, Madeira. You know anything about the composite factory? The one in Smuggler Coves? Yes. That's where they produce all the raw materials needed to build the drones. All of the alloys, plastics, and composites. You know, like carbon fiber and epoxy. It all happens in that factory. It plays a pretty vital role in the process and manufacturing of the drones. How are they able to get all of those materials and resources? They're extracted from the local mines and then reprocessed. It's a pretty effective system they've developed over there, actually. That open pit mine in Mount Hodgson seems pretty unusual for a place like this. It's not that unusual, actually. All the mines of Aroa are open pitted. There are a lot of mines on other islands, but Aroa is really a geological anomaly. We have such an extremely high concentration of minerals, that open pit and mining made the most sense. Of all the different types of mining methods, it has the highest yield. I don't love the impact it has on the landscape or the environment, but it's the most cost-effective choice. Those mines seem ripe for exploitation and profit. They are. The brain matter of the drones, the very motherboards and electronics, are crafted from the minerals of those mines. It's simply an invaluable resource. The tech on this island is really something else. I didn't realize 3D printing had gotten so sophisticated. What you've seen is just the tip of the iceberg. Seriously? I'm thrilled with what's on the horizon. The printing alone, it's nothing short of remarkable. I'm so stoked about it. What's the latest? Basically, all they need are the raw materials, and they can produce pieces that surpass anything I've ever seen in traditional mass production. Properties like elasticity, thermal resistance, density. This printer of theirs can match it perfectly. I can tell it's something you're really passionate about. You have no idea. This is revolutionary. Seriously, all they need to do is imagine a specific part, feed the design into the computer, and the printer can produce it in a matter of minutes. The possibilities are endless. That does sound pretty remarkable. Is it just me, or is there this real Area 51 vibe about the training center in that restricted area? <laughs> You've been watching too many of those old sci-fi shows, but I get why it makes you feel uneasy. That training center's a huge area for drone testing. It's like those old U.S. nuclear testing sites from the 1950s. There's a test zone about the size of a small city that's filled with fake buildings. It helps the drones train for urban defense scenarios. ...or urban invasion scenarios. I don't know about all that, but soldiers from Sentinel Corp do use it to train alongside lethal drones. It's all very top-secret, hush-hush stuff... ...done to preserve the safety and integrity of Aroa. Oh, I get it. Stay safe. You too.
I suppose you got tricked into inviting private military contractors into Aurora. Well, I mean, not exactly. We're self-governing. You used to be. Okay, we used to be. We needed security. Not just as a police force, but as security. At least that's what Miles got me to finally admit. Against pirates and the moment and such? Our drone security was limited. It still is. If unauthorized people land, we would know about it, but we couldn't do anything about it. You're obviously not afraid of squatters. You were afraid of corporate spies. We do get spies from time to time. Don't tell the shareholders, but the more our tech discoveries are disseminated throughout the world, the better off it'll be. But I was worried about the safety of our staff, the bombing. I just never imagined the antibiotics would be more deadly than the illness. Sentinel snuck a private army into the abandoned U.S. military complexes. Stone's been planning this takeover from day one. My colleague, Ayana Puri, who dealt with this, certainly has a better picture. That outcast bombing must have hit you pretty hard. I... Maybe you read about it. I lost my wife in the September 11th attack on the World Trade Center. Sorry. I didn't know. I guess, uh, I guess I can't blame you for bringing in Stone and Sentinel. Do you know what it feels like to lose someone? Yeah, I do. You get all torn up inside. You get to feel like you're falling, but it's an endless fall. You grab hold of anything you can. So what am I grabbing hold of now? I don't know. Us. We need you, Nomad. But you probably need us every bit as much. I met a lot of Skeltech employees who are mad at you. The outcasts? Sentinel hasn't taken care of them yet? They're naive. But they can learn. They can do some good for the island. They're small-minded. Fearful. If they think the world is going to destroy them, it will. Well, we need them. So maybe we can change their minds. Some people don't change, Nomad. But some of them do. You healed up from the bombing attack. I mean, in your head. Yeah, well... I had to deal with the aftermath. First team to inspect the site. I still remember all those broken windows, shattered shards of glass. I kept thinking, we can fix those, we can fix those. I got the windows fixed, but... But I stopped scheduling non-vital meetings in the Skell Foundation head office. It's different than when you see something on TV. It's... It's just reporters and sirens. It's the smell. So acrid it singes your nostrils, like... the energy around you has been sucked away, you know? Yeah, I do. And the bombers were never caught. We never knew if another one was coming. We suspected the outcast, but now that Sentinel's taken over, I wonder. You're the one who asked Sentinel to step in. Yeah, that's, that's on me. Stay out of trouble. Focus is my forte. Hey, genius. I take it you didn't know about Walker Submarine? Submarine? This is bad. Fox gave me a file from his source. It's called Lynchpin. I'm getting real curious about this guy feeding us intel. The file contains analysis of what might happen if certain key politicians were killed, or if disasters hit certain areas. Walker's plan starts with that submarine launching your drones. And those drones do their work. This is his target criteria. I didn't understand the sheer ambition. I thought they'd use it nationally, but... globally? All made possible by my work. Hey, genius. You were trying to help. 
I've paved the road to hell with my good intentions. We have the program. We might have time to stop the submarine before it gets too far. But it's useless unless we can upload the virus. What about Fox's source? We know they have access. Fox needs to introduce us. I don't know where Fox has gone, but I found that video on his computer. I think I know who sent it. Miss Puey. You must have some idea where Mr. Scale has skidded off to. I can assure you, Mr. Stone, I have no idea. This archipelago is large. He has many friends. He could literally be anywhere. Are his friends your friends? There a problem here, Stone? Well, hello, Colonel. Oh. Miss Puri was just uh, explaining that in order to find Jay Skell, we need to start raiding houses. I'm dragging folks out into the street in the middle of the night. Your kind of mischief. Know what your problem, Miss Stone? You like elegance. So why don't you regale us with your military genius? How do we apprehend? How do we apprehend Jace Scale? Well, how about we throw a little psyops? Maybe Miss Puri here, she can, uh, ah, she can assist you. Wait, we see who turns Jace Scale in, and then your, uh, little band of rent cops can go and collect him. Now, is that something that you think that you could handle, Stone? Battle for hearts and minds. Very convincing. And they say Jace scales the genius. All right, Colonel. I'll get right on it. I'm sure I don't know what you mean. No. There's going to be a time where you're going to have to choose between friendship and survival. Boy, oh boy. I'm just dying to see what you choose. Looks like trouble in paradise. And you said you knew who sent it. Ayana Puri, of course. She tried to be discreet about it. Secret mail account, encrypted sender, whole deal. Sweet, really. Ayana has never been the crypto security wizard. That's her. She's the source. She sent all the videos since the beginning. She's trying to help us from the other side. I should have trusted her. She and Fox, they're very close. He's been protecting her identity. She's in trouble, and Fox is trying to help. He knew we didn't trust her. Oh, Fox. He's going to get himself killed. Fox would have looked for Ayana at Skell Invest. I've got to follow Fox and save both of them. Just keep working on that virus, genius. Time's not on our side.
Copy, boss. Moving there. Sniper sighted. Roger that. Moving now. On target. We're set. Keep the firepower going, fix it. Turn the target. Well, that made a statement. HVT's trying to escape. Sneaker out of place right now. 
Nice going. Smoke, there's a turret. How you on deck? I've told you everything I know. Okay, shit bucket. What the hell are you doing?